Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if this is your first time here. Today we are doing the second update for my 2023 Project Pan. If you have missed the intro and the first update, I will link them up in the eye. They'll be in a playlist there for you to go and check out. If you're up to date, let's get into what I've managed to do in the second month. Now, just as a little disclaimer at the start, I filmed the cutaways on the right date but I didn't have time to film this bit of the video so it's a few weeks after the cutaways were actually filmed that I'm filming this so I'll be trying not to show you things too closely in this part of the video but you will see the cutaways to see what progress was made between February and March but let's start with one that not a lot of progress has been made on and that is my perfume. This was where I was by the first update and I was hoping by this update that when I turned this upside down, this perfume would be coming back down the way and we'd be marking it on this washi tape. That's not quite happened yet. I'm hoping it's not too far away from happening when I hold it on the side and shine the light through it. The perfume seems to be about halfway. So I think I've used about half of this. There's 175 ml or there was 175 ml before I started using it. So if we say that I've used half, there's just under 100 ml left. It's still perfectly plausible for me to finish the 100 ml or so that might be in here roughly at the moment between now and the end of this project, which is the end of the year. It's quite frustrating that it's not come down enough to start marking this. I was hoping that would have happened by this update, hopefully by the next one. I'm enjoying using the perfume it's not a groundbreaking one. I think it's been discontinued anyway, to be honest. It's fine. It's just a pleasant white musk. Fine for work. We'll get it used up. I'm not worried about it. I just would like it to, to come down so we can start marking it. Because that would be more interesting to look at. One that did come down a little bit is my Kerastase Nectar Thermique. So... You can see that came down again about the same amount that it did the first time. I'm quite pleased with that. If I come down that bit every single month, I will definitely have this finished within the project and that is the aim. So pleased to be making progress. Glad that I put it in because if I hadn't put it in, I would still own this at the end of this year, even though it's been so nearly empty for so, so long. I have had a little bit of a disaster. So this is my setting spray. So you might be able to see between the first and the second markings, it was quite a small jump. And then we had a big jump. And that is not through usage, unfortunately. So I don't use this during the week at work or anything like that. I don't even wear makeup to work every single day anyway. And my skin's been a bit irritated over the last few months, as I'm sure you're probably all really bored of hearing me witter on about. So I've not been wearing makeup in general as much as I would have. But even if I had been, I wouldn't be putting fixing spray on my face at work during the day. Like, it does not bother me what I look like by the end of the working day. So I really only use this at the weekend. So I knew the progress was going to be small, but I had taken this out one weekend. I was meeting Lauren and I, I was actually, I was going to the hairdresser in the morning. So there was no point in me, A, my appointment was really early and I'm not a morning person, but also B, because my hair was going to be washed and everything, there was no point in me like doing my makeup because it was all gonna get washed off at the side. So I was waiting till afterwards to do my makeup and went into my makeup bag and this had kind of leaked. So that is why there is a slightly bigger jump between last month and this month. But it also means like the lid seemed to be on it, but it just, it was as if it had leaked out anyway. Um, but that has now really put me off traveling with it. I was actually in France last week, which is not actually relevant to this update. So I probably shouldn't be telling you that because that was after I'd filmed the cutaways but usually I would have taken this on holiday with me and that would have got me like a solid week of using it or whatever and I just didn't feel comfortable traveling with it so I feel like that's now really reduced the amount of times that I'm going to reach for this because I'm only going to use it on weekends when I'm doing my makeup at home in the morning. So it's maybe going to be a once a week product from here on out which is, is not ideal because you don't use a lot of it anytime it's quite a fine mist and whatever but that's where we are, so hopefully I'll still use it up within the project, but bit of a disaster there, bit of a setback. For skincare, I came down another little bit in my Fresh Rose Serum. I'm just pleased to be making any kind of progress in this. I know if I didn't have it in the project that I wouldn't be making any progress at all. I would only be using it kind of once a week or something if I remembered, whereas I feel like having it in the project, it reminds me to actually reach for it. So really pleased that I put it in and I'm not expecting obviously when you look at this being two months of progress 
to finish this within the project or anything like that but just any extra use that I'm getting that I wouldn't have otherwise got I'm really pleased with. A product that I got quite a lot of usage out so this is my Origins Clay Mask. This started at 56 grams and by the first update I got it down to 52 grams so I'd only used 4 grams but for this update I have reduced this down to 40 grams so I used up 12 grams in one month so really really pleased with that. I feel like that indicates like that's I probably used it quite a lot that month. I think basically I was really unwell in January. My skin was so dried out I was just throwing everything at it to try and get it to perk up and then once it kind of it, because it wasn't not perking up because of the products, it was because I wasn't well. But then kind of what happened is the flip side is I got really, really blackheady and congested because I'd been using such overwhelming skincare products for my oily skin. So yeah, I feel like I had quite a lot of cause to use this between update one and update number two. So we maybe won't see 12 grams every single month, but I'm really, really excited that we got it in that month. So since the start, that means it's down 16 grams, 40 grams left to empty, and obviously some of that 40 grams is packaging. So I feel really positive that this will get used up within the project. The other product that I'm weighing is my foundation, and I'm really enjoying this foundation, so I'm not too like bothered about it being slow, but it's another really slow mover. So this was introduced in the project at 34 grams. By update number one, I had used two grams, got it down to 32 grams. And I said in that update, like I felt like I'd been using it way more than that, but two grams is what we got. And between update number one and today, I've used it another two grams. So this is now at 30 grams. So two grams a month seems to be possibly what this is going to kind of settle at, which doesn't seem like very much and I don't know how much of that grammage will be packaging in terms of trying to get this finished within the project. It does sometimes feel like I'm having to really squeeze it to get product out so I don't think it's full of anything. It's still quite a lot of grams to seem to need to use if I'm only using two grams a month so we'll see how we go with this one. I am really enjoying using it so I'm not in like a massive rush like that I want it out in the next few months or anything but I do want it out by the end of the project, like I wouldn't have put it in the project if I didn't want to to knock it out. This is one of the oldest foundations in my collection and I do really want to reduce my foundations down in general so uh, I am hoping to finish this one. The grammage numbers don't indicate very positive things about that hope but the hope remains. The other hair care product that I've got is my Dawanese oils. This came down a little bit more between update number one and update number two than it did between the intro and update one, so I was pleased with that. Again, this is one that I don't think I'll maybe finish within the project, but as long as I make really good consistent use and get, I think it'll just be interesting to get an idea by the end of the year of like what a year looks like in hair oil for me, just to get that kind of data on how long it really takes to use. This is a 50 ml, so like, you know, how much am I really going through in terms of when I'm then shopping in the future, being able to realistically look at, say for example, this and say, right, that's a 50 mil. I know if I buy that, it's going to take me, you know, a year and a bit to use. What do I have at the moment? I think like mainly as well, like it's, am I running as low as I think I am? Because I think that's the main thing that project planning has taught me is that I use less product than I think I do. So I feel like there's been times in the past, not even when I was like over consuming because I was getting like sucked into the hype or because I was like shopping for the wrong reasons. Even just things like I would look at things that were less than half empty and think, oh that's running out, I need to get another one. I feel like project panning has really taught me like half empty is uh, half full basically and it's still going to go for a lot longer than I always think it is. So I do feel like it's just an interesting kind of bit of data to gather even if I don't finish this and with it within the project to see how much I actually use. Speaking of using less than I think, my Hourglass blush is in the project um, and I am tally marking on the back and between the intro and the first update I used it seven times and between the last update and this one I've used it five times. That to me is is really interesting because my goal for this is to use it 100 times. So that's me used it now in total 12 times. So I've got 80 more uses to get out of this. 
and I thought 100 uses was going to be really easy I was like oh that's like 10 a month and I love I love managed it like I was nearly I was nearly setting myself the goal of 150 uses but I do want to be using some of my other blushes and you know checking in with them and maybe declustering some of them if they've gone off or whatever because I have been project panning a blush quite consistently for the last few years and I feel like there'll be others in my collection that I wouldn't have used that will have gone off so I do want the space to check my other blushes which was why I settled on 100 and thought that was like the lower goal to go for but yeah so seven times between intro and update one and five times in the last month as I said I've not been wearing makeup as much because my skin's not been great so I'm hoping I've got the medicated skincare at the moment, I've been to the doctor, I've got the eczema cream for my face. I'm hoping that will kind of sort me out and I'll be maybe more prone to putting makeup on my face. But yeah, I definitely, if you'd asked me to estimate how many times I'd used this and I hadn't tally marked it, I definitely would have thought it was more than five. But it's five, the marks are there. So definitely using less than I thought and as you would maybe expect with five uses there's not much kind of visual change between the last update and this one. One that there has been a little bit of change in is my Chanel Blanc de Chanel primer so that has come down another little bit really really pleased with that if I just use that consistently this will definitely be finished within the project I really really like this it's a beautiful under the matte foundation from L'Oreal it gives like a really lovely glow to the skin when you use the two together but it's also really nice on days when I don't want to do a full makeup which is quite a lot of days as it turns out um, and I can put this in my skin and it just gives a sort of dewiness and a glow and a bit of bit of something without being makeup so I'm really really enjoying using this I had had this in my collection for ages I think I was sort of trying to like keep it good and finish up all my primer minis and stuff but I definitely I decided to put it in the project because I was like I want to get the use of this before it goes off which is definitely technically expired but it seems to be absolutely fine it will go off at some point so I wanted to get the use of it before that happened and I've just completely fallen in love with the product again so really really glad that I put it in gonna be slightly sad when I finish it up but also would rather finish it up before it turns so that's why it's in the project and I'm enjoying using it and I think we'll finish it up without any bother really And the last product to talk to you about is my Charlotte Tilbury highlight. As I said in the last update, I think I was maybe slightly underestimating this product when I looked at how long it taken my friend Lauren, who is a much better project panner than me, to hit pan in this. She panned it um, in 2022 and it took her from January until it was her August update. It was the very start of August, so it was the end of July really that she actually hit pan on it but it took her seven months and she's a much like more consistent user of makeup than me so I'm not sure when we're going to see pan in this but hopefully before the end of the project I'm loving using it I think it's absolutely beautiful in the skin so I'm not in any rush but still would like to see pan by the end of the project so fingers crossed And that is everything for this update, so thank you very much for watching it. If you do like Project Pan content, I have got a playlist with all of my Project Pan stuff from last year, so my main 2022 Project Pan, plus my 13 by Halloween and 12 Pans of Christmas Project Pans. So I will link that up in the end card, you can go and watch that, watch them right through, have a Project Pan binge. Um, if you've not hit subscribe, please do hit subscribe, that would help me out a lot. And if you like Project Pan content, please tell me by liking this video so that I know that you want to see more of it. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye!